Part of Philly's appeal are its rivers. But the hardest thing about operating around water is not getting wet. This is the Schuylkill River. Now it bisects Philadelphia, separating West Philly from downtown. To keep the city connected, the tunnels run underneath the river. And that's an immense amount of water pressure pushing down there. So the guys fight a never ending battle trying to keep those tunnels dry. Noon. We're heading into a potential disaster zone. Most of the lines running under Philadelphia are below the water table. So they have pump rooms working to hold the rivers back. But water levels in this tunnel are rising. And we need to put a stop to it or else an entire line could be threatened. This is maintenance manager Jim Harrigan's first headache of the day. And it's a big one. We got a high water alarm here. We got to get down as fast as possible. Water comes up in about 20 minutes. Okay. Groundwater and storm runoff seeps in through the tunnel's cracks and drains. The pumps that keep the tunnel dry are signaling a high water alarm. Water is rising in the pump's catch basin. It could overflow and reach the third rail that powers the trains in a matter of minutes sparking a complete loss of power on this line. This station would be out of service, which would cause a cascade of delays and holdups across the region. Despite the emergency, we've got to keep our eyes and ears open. Jim shows me how to avert the crisis. Uh, I got two breakers in the off position. Just keep okay. these on. And we need to reset the sensors and get these pumps back online. Pump one to auto, run it on. Auto. It's running. Running. We're back in business. And and this will oh, look at that water level going take down. Take the water right down in about 10 minutes. So when you get an emergency like this, if you don't respond to it, the train going by right now could be going through puddles. And you got about another 10 minutes before the water is actually coming up through the grates. These pumps are all that stand between a dry line and a washout. This is actually the wet well where the pumps live. This whole area fills up with water. Here's how they work. They've got an impeller on the bottom that pumps 1,500 gallons of water a minute into a discharge stack. From there, the water is forced up and out into Philly's stormwater pipes and then into the city's water treatment plant. Eventually, it ends up back in the Delaware River. If it wasn't for these two pumps, I, you'd be underwater in no time. 